What's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 8 of Town Hall 9 and 2021 and it is our first Clan War Leagues matchup this week. It's our very first Clan War Leagues in PDX Elite. But before we get into the Clan War Leagues, and let me explain how that's going to work out for you as a Town Hall 9, because you're not going to like the results, I promise you. Ooh. We have worked on our Archer Queen, and our Archer Queen is now level 18. Our Barbarian King has also equally been upgraded, and he's going to level 19. Wait a minute. We have a Book of Heroes. Ho <laughs> ho ho! Maybe we should do another level on our archer queen before we start the clan war leagues mm, i like that idea all right so what else have we done on this village we've upgraded a couple of defenses we're trying to get those new defenses caught up to the equal level around the village we've also upgraded our expo to level two only one of the expos is now level two now i have been sharing progress of this village on instagram so be sure to follow me on instagram if you want to keep up with this series because we have the town hall 12 free to play series that tends to kind of overlap this series it's just one of those things you know and town hall 9 is actually a lot more fun and a little bit easier than what it was last year so what else can we do today Ooh, we could do an episode of just pulling obstacles huh <laughs> let's see if we get some free gems I don't think you'll watch that, will you? You probably won't watch that. You'll be like, mm -mm, nope, I'm out, Joe. You're done. <laughs> you are done, bud. You are done here. Did we get some gems? Oh, we got six gems from that. That's what's up. All right, let's go ahead and get into the Clan War League. So you will see that we are in our very first Clan War Leagues, and we got some bases on the, the map right now. Basically, we're in prep day. So as a leader, I'm a leader in this clan, I could choose to change my members and pull people out, add them to the roster, or, you know, pull them from the roster one or the other but anyways all the information that you're looking for in regards to what clan war leagues is is literally right here on this screen if you go into this screen and you click this little blue button on the far right side it tells us all the information now between you and i as a town hall nine clan war leagues is not that fun it really and truly is not as fun as we'd like it to be because realistically clan war leagues is a tournament system that is really created for the higher level Level town hall players and so the only real matchups that you're going to have that even matchup situation is going to be in those high town hall 13 clans versus other high town hall 13 clans and so we have this situation down here as a town hall 9 where we're not going to have an even matchup every single week because when we look at this screen right here it says battle week and it says during each battle week your clan will be grouped up with seven other clans from your league tier so this is not a system that's based on war weight like the regular clan war that's a completely different system this system basically pairs up clans that are in the same league so if you got a, a clan that's in gold league two and another clan that's in gold league two they just match up and so if one of those is like all town hall nines and the other one is like all town hall 12s well then you have your mismatch situation and that's what you get to expect as a town hall nine but don't let that deter you just have fun with it that's all i can say don't get so wrapped up in trying to be like uh, you know moving up in leagues and getting promoted as a town hall nine level clan or whatever because it's just not going to work out for you but you just got to have fun and try to obtain those eight stars what in the world are you talking about when it comes to eight stars joe i've heard you say that like a million times well when you get over here into the results and rewards we got this little section that kind of breaks down the league medals that is what's so important for trying to keep a little bit of positivity in the clan war leagues you get some league medals you get to buy some hammers and possibly advance in your village your home village you know what i mean get those hammers and you could do an upgrade and don't be out there saying if you're a town hall nine don't be buying hammers don't tell them that it takes literally i've, I've seen this said so many times i've seen players in like discord or in clan chat saying that a town hall nine should not be buying hammers you be, should be saving your medals for town hall 12 it takes 17 months to make it to town hall 12 as a free-to-play player nobody wants to wait 17 months to spend medals come on man <laughs> let them spend their medals how they want to spend them there really is no wrong way to do this you can always recoup them later on down the line so we're going to get into a little bit about these eight stars and i'm going to explain to you that even though you might not participate in the clan war leagues you just might be on the roster you can still get medals there as well we'll talk about that here in a second but first let's ask grandpa about his days in clan war league 
<laughs> that's what you get for interrupting me yesterday. That's literally the first time that Grandpa was ever silent. So apparently, Clan War Leagues was not around when Grandpa was playing the game. And that's because it's relatively new. It's only been around since October of 2018 is when they introduced Clan War Leagues. And it's had some changes over time. So when we look at this rewards and results or results and rewards page, it says that you earn at least 20% of the rewards and 10 more for each obtained star. So you have got to be on your clan's roster just to get league medals. And you cannot be outside of it. What do I mean by that exactly? So when your clan leader or co-leader starts the clan war leagues, they have got to make sure that they include you in this 30 person lineup if your clan is doing 30 people, unless they're doing 15 versus 15. You have two different versions of the clan war leagues. So most of the clans out there that are trying to get some clan war league medals are probably doing 30 versus 30 and you just have to be on this roster you do not have to be in the wars and then you got seven days of wars straight so it's set a week long worth of wars and you have got to be in the war to increase the amount of stars and make sure that you do attacks on the other side so for me personally what i choose to do is uh in this one right here i'm gonna go in on day four that's where they're gonna put me in because i have my clan war league attacks on my town hall 12. so on my town hall 12 i'll be in day one through day four because I try to get my three to two stars based on the matchup. If I have an even matchup, I go for the three star. If I have a mismatch, like if I'm facing off against a Town Hall 12 or a Town Hall 13, well, technically, since I'm a Town Hall 12 over there now, I would be facing off against a Town Hall 13. I'm going to try to go for the two stars at least. Does that make sense? So you got to get two stars at least to try to be competitive in the Clan War Leagues, help your clan try to get the win, but you also need to get eight of those stars over the next couple of days to make sure that you get the 100% of league medals. So when we jump back into that page for the results and rewards, you'll see that right here on the screen, we got gold, league two and then you got rewards and then it shows the amount of league medals that you will get as a player per place where your clan places in the um, the tournament so if you are in first place you will get 160 medals this is not including those bonus medals that the the uh, leaders hand out i don't even want to talk about that because we know them leaders be trying to keep those medals for themselves <laughs> See that so many times, man. It's so not right, but it is what it is. It's their clan. They can do what they want to do, right? But anyways, in order to increase the amount of medals that you get each clan war leagues, your clan needs to get promoted up in these leagues. And that's based on your clan composition and how often you're able to win. I mean, if you got a really mismatched clan, you got 13s, 12s, 11s, 10s, 9s, whatever, it might be a little bit more challenging to move up. If you have more Town Hall 12s, then you might be a little bit more successful. It's all based on your skill level of the clan and the type of Town Halls that you have in your clan that are participating in the clan war leagues. Some leaders take this a little bit more serious than others. So we understand that we get more medals by moving up in the leagues. And we understand that in order to get the 100% amount of medals, uh, what does it mean? Okay, let me, I got to backtrack just a little bit. 20%, the 20%. If you do not participate in the Clan War Leagues, you are on the roster. You do not score any stars whatsoever. If we are in gold league two, and let's say that my clan somehow magically lands itself in first place, then you get 20% percent of the 160 medals here so you get a little bit of medals but it won't be the full 100 percent does that make sense we're good on that right we're good okay moving on so in order to win you got to make sure that you get the wins on the random you know on your days your war days but then you also get an additional 10 stars for each war one this is how players get advanced above e each other because one clan might have three wins and then the number two clan might have only two wins does that make sense that's how they move up and get promoted and all the other stuff but i think that's about it when it comes to the clan war leagues you just got to make sure that you're having fun and do your best Best as a town hall nine because the medals are so important in your advancement in the game bro that is so technical isn't it i don't like technical explanations like that. it gets all confusing and stuff so we are gonna go back out and do a little bit more farming of the dark elixir to put down our archer queen and try to get her knocked out before day four because i mean i don't know what i'm gonna be facing off against but i can probably guarantee it's going to be a mismatch now i will do my best to reveal to you guys what we will face off against as a town hall nine but i'm gonna tell you right now that i am not looking forward to it because i'm over here trying to tell you to have 
that fun? Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, it ain't fun facing off against mismatch situations sometimes. You'd be like trying your best and you just get completely crushed. <laughs> your soul is like, yeah! <laughs> All right, let's grab the dark elixir out of that drill right there. And uh, where? Okay, we got a drill right here. There was 5,000 dark elixir available on this base. This is a rush town hall 11. My goodness, bro. Slow your roll there, cheese. <laughs> man, I'm going to tell you right now, man. Rushing is not always a good option. It's not the best option, especially if you don't play a lot. I think a lot of players get a misconception about rush bases. They, they think it's a good answer until they realize, bro, I got to play a lot to make this happen so i mean it's just one of those things oh we got a bunch of elixirs still what's going on here with this let me go ahead and bail on this one we walked away with uh, 4500 dark elixir this is how i've maintained putting down the heroes so fast i just you know kind of activate one of those training boosts which i don't think i have one of those today unfortunately let me go ahead and uh, burn off this elixir since i only have one builder and uh, that's what's left over from our season bank payout that's always nice right oh my gosh see what i'm saying this is how you end up doing a bunch of walls these are so cheap now <laughs> I remember, I remember when these walls were like a, a million a piece. Now they're only 500k. What in the world? <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, wow. All righty then. This is cool. So let's go ahead and burn off a little bit more. I'm over here doing walls in a live video. That makes a lot of sense, right? <laughs> Let's go ahead and burn off just a little bit more. And do we have an army ready? That's the wrong button, dude. That's the wrong button. Yeah, we do have an army ready. We do have clan castle troops. You don't necessarily have to have clan castle troops, but let's see if we got... Uh, see if we can find another one live together. So let's do this. Mm, town Hall 9. How many times will we have to hit next before we find a really nice base with a lot of loot? 3,500 is not bad. That's not bad, but uh, it doesn't look like it's very easy to get to. Uh, let's see if we can find a little bit more. We pushed all the way up to Crystal League 2, and I mean, we've been effective. We've been very effective on stealing resources. Oh, look, we got a couple of air defenses. So 3,500 again, and we got Dark Elixir. <laughs> She's over here clapping to the Dark Elixir. Man, what is wrong with that chick? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's drop a couple of lightning spells right here and destroy these two air defenses. Uh, the air sweeper is facing that way. It's facing that way, so we should be able to get in on this dark elixir. Let's go ahead and funnel a little bit, though. Let's drop a few baby dragons here. Where's the other drill? We got a drill right there. Let's drop baby dragons here and here. Baby dragons gotten in on that dark elixir drill. Oh, yeah, baby. That's what's up. Oh, we got an electro dragon on defense. Come on, man. Are you serious? You better get out of here with this. <laughs> let's go and get an archer queen down and see if we can kill off his Electro Dragon. So the other day, we were doing the balloon event, right? And I kept finding Electro Dragons. As a matter of fact, let me go back in my uh, attack log here in a moment and see if I could find you some of those situations because I was just kind of dazed and confused, man. I was like, are you serious right now with the uh, situations with the Electro Dragon? Let's go ahead and kill that guy off. <laughs> Queen died. It's all good, though. Come on, Baby D. Oh, Baby D almost got it. Get the Baby D, jump him. <laughs> come on, man. You got this. Take him out. He's, he's not even paying attention. Mm -hmm. Oh, look. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. He got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, that's what's up. All right, we got a couple of high-level baby dragons coming in on this village, and let's go ahead and drop a few more to get the win. We don't want to take the loss. I mean, I don't want to drop back down in trophies because there's some pretty good dark elixir up here in the higher leagues, you know? I mean, that's the higher leagues produces a lot of dark elixir. You'll find better gold and elixir dead loot down in the lower leagues, but up here in the higher leagues, this is the place for the resources. Now, let's go ahead and roast that queen. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> she just went night-night, bro. She was like, nope, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't hang with the big dogs all right we <laughs> we got the dark elixir off this village i think the rest of it's gonna be inside of the town hall let's see if we can try to get the town hall on this one maybe i i mean you got a couple of air defenses here might not work out let's go ahead and roast these uh wait wait wait, wait for it uh, oh, there <laughs> come on can we get the town hall with the baby dragons that we have let's just go ahead and spam send everyone come on send everyone in there get, get the town hall boys <laughs> Did we, yes, we got all the town. We got all the dark legs are off that base. That's what's up. Let me go back in my attack log and see if I can find that situation where I got really lucky with the balloon getting the three star. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and finish up this video with this final attack. This is a replay from the other day. This is by far the craziest attack that I've had in a really long time. We were working on that balloon event to get that free training potion. And so one of the things about Town Hall 9 is a lot of players out there will request the Electro Dragon on defense. And without the Archer Queen, it does have a tendency to be a very valuable defensive troop in the clan castle. So we got the balloons moving in on this base and we got Lava Hounds moving down to the other area defenses and naturally we're gonna have an electro dragon come out of that clan castle and he's over here bullying man look at him taking on my uh lava puffs and destroying them super fast i was like getting a little i was nail biting bro i was like oh no this is about to go really bad but we did have a couple of freeze spells we froze that electro dragon in place and allowed the lava hounds to move to the other side of the base blocking the air defense and we got balloons going from defense to defense but balloons can't defend themselves against an electro dragon i mean electro dragons straight up bullies these balloons watch this happen he's over here zapping <laughs> lava puffs look at me beating up on my lava puffs and stuff but he's also going to get a little bit of chain value and roast some of my balloons i was getting really concerned about right about now i was like oh my gosh this is gonna go so bad Bruh. you got a little minion look at the, <laughs> the minions trying to stand up to the electro dragon the e-drag is going to start chasing my balloons around the village but he moves away from the dark elixir so we're good to go there we're gonna steal this guy's dark elixir and at this point i pretty much talked it up that i am not gonna three star this base i mean there's just no way we got this electro dragon over here defending and he's taking out my little minions and they're trying so hard look at him he's he said one more time he's like, wah. <laughs> goodbye minions he turns around and he roasts literally all of my minions but watch these balloons man the balloons are creeping right by that electro dragon and the electro mm -hmm. dragon's like nope i'm gonna f i'm about to get you boys watch this oh the splash damage from the balloon took out the final building get the three star <laughs> I was like, no way, man. How in the world did that happen? I have never seen that ever in my life of playing this game. Probably the coolest thing I've ever seen. Coolest attack ever. But I think that's going to finish this up for today, guys. I'm going to keep farming up a little bit of resources. Actually, let me go ahead and make sure that I retrain my next army. And then we're going to get a little bit more Dark Elixir. I think we need, what, 59,000 Dark Elixir to put that queen back down. And then we're going to upgrade her instant with the Book of Heroes and get her to level 19. Hopefully, you're able to get something out of today's video. If not, a really good laugh and if you enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications if you need any additional video support or you would like to see the start of this town hall series of 2021 click one of those links over there and we will see you in the next one guys take care